I have received a package and as you read the title, this is part of a trade my stash challenge. Hi there, I'm Allie and welcome to my channel. You know, we're not even gonna procrastinate this. I got my scissors here. We're gonna open the box and see what it is that's inside and what I'm gonna be working with. Now my box here is from Catherine over at A Perfect Place to Start. There's a card, so I wanna read this first. Allie, I hope you enjoy the box. I had fun shopping for it with quotes. <laughs> Love, Catherine. Love that, that's so sweet. Okay. <laughs> now I do know that there are some wrapped items that are the challenge items. So I'm gonna hold off on those first. I wanna start with what I see here. So this says Home Trends Wood Heart Trivet. Okay, this is so cute. I really want to do something with this. This is adorable. Awesome, I love signs like these. Oh, now this is really cute. This is from Target. I can recognize the tag and it is a little shelf. Ooh, now this is a good item. We have these little mini wreath forms from Dollar Tree. Now these come in handy. I have never used them in a project yet. Oh no, this is fun. Mini cone trees. I honestly might save these for Christmas time, but we will, we will see. Ooh, now isn't this pretty? Some burgundy color yarn. This looks to be some sort of cube here. I'm not sure what this originally was, but this has a ton of crafting potential. I'm forgetting the name of it. <laughs> It's a macrame plant hanger. Now this is cute, oh my goodness. And then we have here a $1 teaching awesome humans little wood piece. I'm not a teacher, <laughs> just to put that out there. I just realized I forgot something. It's some twine, some yellow twine. And now I have the challenge items. We have three mini Buckets. These are really nice quality buckets, by the way. This is burlap garland. It's like a whole roll. I'm gonna have to think of how I want to use it though. Wow, this is a, a great item. <laughs> it is an entire pack of little cotton pods. I am going to do some thinking and some planning and I'll be back in about 24 hours. Let's start with these little buckets. My idea was to start out by spray painting them with some metallic gold spray paint. Now while that spray paint is drying, I wanna use this little teacher sign to make a base for this project. So I removed the little hanger off the back and the sticker. Then I gave the whole thing a light sand just so that the paint would stick. I then added two Dollar Tree tumbling tower blocks to the bottom to act as feet and then painted the entire thing with matte black acrylic paint. Now once that spray paint was dry, I'm gonna use a technique that I used in my kitchen makeover video and I wanted to see how it would work with these buckets. I'm using this brown antique wax by Craft Smart and just painting it all over the buckets with a bristle brush and getting it into all of those nooks and crannies before going in with a paper towel and gently wiping and dabbing off any of the excess. But really I wanted these to look as much like antique brass as I could get them. After a couple hours and that wax dried, I then used some hot glue and attached the buckets to the little base that I created here, just like so. And I thought this would be so cute, styled up with a couple little sprigs of these Dollar Tree flocked florals. also is a giveaway. We are giving away a $50 Amazon gift card to everyone who leaves a comment on every single video that is in this hop. So in the description box, you will see the link to the next video. That is the person I sent my box to. So you can see what I sent and the wonderful things that she came up with. 
Throughout this challenge video, I wanted to try to use as many of the supplies that I was sent for these projects. So I'm starting with this follow the bunny sign and I tried peeling off the paper design as best as I could, but it doesn't have to be perfect. Now I'm coming in with this roll of burlap. While burlap is not really my style, I love the texture that it has. So I used my scissors to cut down some pieces and cut off the little sewn edges so that I'd have a nice raw edge of burlap. And it took two pieces to kind of layer on top of each other to create this look. Now here's the fun part. I wanted to paint this and really fill it in to kind of look like plaster. I had seen these flower pots that look like they were made out of like a sack or burlap that were plastered and that was really the inspiration for this piece. So I took a lot of white acrylic paint to really, really layer it into the sign to really get into all those little nooks. And it took a lot of paint and a lot of patience, but I did eventually find that using a sponge brush was definitely the way to go instead of a traditional paintbrush because that really, really got into all of those little holes that was left in the burlap. I then used my black paint to paint all around the edges to really give this a nice high-end art look. And I decided the white was just a little boring as is, so I mixed up a little tan and white and painted that over the bottom section. And since I wanted it to almost look like the bottom piece was layered, and since I wanted it to almost look like the top piece was layered on top of this tan section, I did go back in with a little more white paint and brushed it downward to kind of get those overlapping threads. And this is the finished result. For this next project, I'm using one of these mini wire wreaths and some more of the burlap. I first cut the burlap down into thinner strips like so, and then began weaving it all the way around the wreath form. Now, I really wanted to use this wreath form. It's kind of hard to tell here, but I wanted to use it, but I wanted to use it upside down so that the kind of curved part of the wire was on the bottom and this kind of created a nice little like bowl effect around the edges with the burlap so I tried doing this weaving method at first for about half of the wreath and it was really annoying and time consuming so halfway through I realized I could just glue down that little middle piece that I wanted to kind of curve with the wreath form and that worked way easier and I was able to complete the wreath that way. Now I racked my brain with what I wanted to do with these cotton pods for this challenge item and I, I couldn't think of anything super creative. I decided to make a wreath and actually every single one of these little cotton pods that came in the pack fit on this wreath. And while this isn't quite my like everyday type style, I am really excited to use this wreath during the fall because this is just super cute. I like how these all look nice and connected to each other and then the burlap wreath form really completes the look. And finally, I decided to add a bow at the bottom with a little bit of the leftover burlap strips and that completes this wreath. And now for a bonus non-challenge item DIY using this heart trivet. I just really, really love this. And I'm also going to be using some raffia. I cut all of the raffia down into smaller pieces, folded them in half, and then hot glued them down around the edges of the bottom of the heart like so. And I just made sure to really layer the pieces on so that you'd get a nice thick look for this. And this project's inspired by several different DIYs and products that I've seen sold like the raffia mirrors and I've seen other types of wall art that's using the raffia and I thought this would be just really cool a fun little boho themed project. And once I got the raffia all the way around where I wanted it I used my scissors to give it a nice haircut And here it is complete and on my wall. Now 
I tried to use as many of the supplies that I was sent as possible, but here are the items that I did not use that did not fit into this video, but I am sure you will see them for other DIYs sometime in the future. If you didn't leave that comment yet, make sure to leave a comment so you can enter in the giveaway and then click the link for the hop and leave a comment on all of the videos so you have a chance to win that $50 Amazon gift card. Thanks so much for watching this video and I'll see you on my next one. Bye!